being in a male-dominated field of engineers, I have experienced discrimination because of gender. But to strengthen my cause as a woman engineer, I would like to stress the importance of sustainable engineering along with gender mainstreaming. The coronavirus pandemic has been an eye-opener that for humanity and Earth to survive, we have to start living sustainably and exist to desist gender discrimination. This is Angeline Santos, your eco-angel from Quezon City. Good day, everyone. I hope you all are doing great today. But before anything else, let us first get to know about Antinig Media. Okay, now Antinig Media is a new small local news company that aims to bring the best reports of local happenings to the public, as well as spreading the word of important events every day across the country. The page was established by Mr. Michael Garza on 8th of May, year 2021 while holding such great visions for succession. And today, right now, Antinic Media is hosting their very first live interview broadcast with none other than Ms. Angeline May Santos. She was a former college instructor at Lyceum of the Philippines University, Cavite. She is now currently working as an engineer at the TPWH Central Office. And also, she is an owner of a restaurant. Besides that, Ms. Angeline is also known for her participation during the Miss Philippines Earth 2020, wherein she secured a spot within the runner-ups, where the support of her fandom called Angels filled the air with joy. Now, I wouldn't want to keep you waiting, guys. So let us now welcome the honorably gorgeous, intelligent, and business-minded guest of Fontinic, Ms. Angeline. Okay, hello, Ms. Angeline. Maaari po kayong bumati sa ating mga mananood. Hello, magandang magandang hapon po sa lahat ng ating mga manonood, lalo na maraming maraming salamat po sa ang Tinig Media for having me today. It was a great it was of great honor to be here right now because I am able to be on a live stream again and be able to showcase my um, my advocacy, myself and of course inspire more people. Ayun. We are very grateful to have you here as well, Miss Angeline. Now everyone is very excited for this to know uh, to get to know more about you, our blooming model. So let us now start the main attraction of this broadcast, the question and answer portion. So here we have gathered the questions from the public for you to answer, Ms. Angeline. But before anything else, are you ready to answer them, Ms. Angeline? Well, of course, I'm always ready and pinaghandaan ko talaga tong interview ko with you guys. Yes, that's very exciting, Ms. Angeline. Now, to begin with, it has been mentioned that you are not only a beauty queen, but also you're a successful engineer and also an entrepreneur. So um, do you think you are a different person for every profession? Or should I say, do you consider any profession a best version of yourself? With all of those kinds of profession, there's no difference with my personality at all. Because when I am an engineer, an entrepreneur, or a beauty queen, I am the same. I am the same kind of person. I am just myself. I always bring my advocacy, my my values in every step of the way, or, or whether I am in the business industry or in the engineering field, because that's what's important. If you always instill your kindness, your values in life, then you're going to be ahead of everyone or be ahead of yourself as well. Yes, that's very insightful, Ms. Angeline. Now, you should... Always be yourself in everything that you do. Now, in this aspect, Miss Angeline, how do you manage to cope with the changes um, from a beauty queen to a entrepreneur? How so that you manage all of these professions, Miss Angeline? For me, um, being in a very flexible mode version of myself, this is the best version of me because I am able to express myself in different areas of my life because as we are human beings, we are very complex people. We have different kinds of mindsets on different situations. And given those kinds of opportunity, I am able to show or showcase what I am truly capable of. Now, you're really indeed an incredible person, Miss Angeline. And I'm really Thank looking you. forward to all of your um, journey. And by the way, um, when did you start working in the DPWH, Miss Angeline? I started working in year 2017 when i passed my board examination for civil engineering and when i first started i wasn't really interested with horizontal projects like for example highways expressways i was 
so into vertical structures that I forgot the beauty of highway infrastructures and expressway pro express projects. Because the beauty of this kind of projects is that it helps provide connectivity for the people all over the Philippines or all over the world, whether it's a highway or an expressway project. And that I think is one of the best things that this administration has given to the people, which is the build, build, build project. And I am a part of it and I am proud of it. Yes, it is very evident that Ms. Angeline has been working for the DPWH for a very long time and it is evident that she is also well versed with this field. But I just had to know, we, we just had to know Ms. Angeline from an engineer to a beauty pageant. How so that you were interested in entering pageants like Miss Earth Philippines? Was there any role model or anything that, or anyone that inspired you to enter pageants? You know what? Since the pageant in industry is really big, there's lots of women that really inspired me. And one of the main things that caught my attention about beauty queens is that they are given a certain platform to voice out their advocacy, their opinions. They are heard. And it is, um, it is a good stage for each and every, one, every woman to be able to voice out all of her opinions and all of her suggestions to have a better man in our community, in our world, in our society. Yes, um, I believe that the platform is very much uh, a, a very efficient platform to advocate. And also, if I'm not mistaken, Miss Angeli, you're going to participate in the upcoming Miss Friendship International in China. So how's your participation so far? So far, I am still communicating with the national director. I am done with my final interview, and I hope that people, especially those who are close to me will support me in this new journey of mine as I represent the Philippines in the Miss Friendship International pageant. And with that, I am also asking for the help of the people around me to give you all of the kinds of support that you can provide to me as well so that I can participate with all of my power aside from my abilities, but also from the support that these people will give to me. Yes, Ms. Adeline, indeed, we are rooting for you and for your success, hopefully. And what are you anticipating? What are your expectations for this pageant, Ms. Adeline? So this pageant's aim is to provide a connection between the China and between China and other countries with in terms of tourism and cultural exchange. With that, we are given the Philippines is given a chance to promote more, not just of the beauty of our country, which is already a given, but also of what is in part of our culture, which is really beautiful. I really adore your passion here, ma'am. I can really feel it. I can really feel it radiating here, ma'am. Thank you. On the aspect of business, um, you're very much welcome. In the as aspect of business, can you tell us more about, um, if I'm not mistaken, the restaurant that you are managing? Yeah, I am currently managing my only chicken wings business. This business started during the pandemic. It was a brainchild of mine. I really love eating. It's one of my favorite pastimes, eating, cooking. And when I started venturing out with food businesses, I was a, um, a little bit hesitant because I'm not that manage, um, knowledgeable with such or with that kind of field because I'm an engineer by profession. I'm a beauty king. So what is my take on the food industry? And then that's the time that I tried to collect information from the people who have experiences. And then I placed my passion on the project. And that's why I created, and I was able to create something good out of my passion to become an entrepreneur. Yes, you have had really built an empire on different aspects now. And that's very remarkable. And I hope I can visit that uh, restaurant of yours. Please and, do. <laughs> uh, from that, <laughs> I also heard that you're a pet lover. Is that true, Ma'am uh, Miss Angeline? Yes, yes. I am indeed a pet lover. It's one of the best things that I can tell about myself. And one of my greatest inspirations right now, inspiration rather, are my cats. I am a cat and a dog lover, but since my dog died two years ago, I wasn't able to really cope up right away. So I focused on rescuing cats. I already rescued three cats. The first one, I rescued it in my office in DPWH. She was, um, what do you call this? The veterinary, vet, veterinarians never uh, did not believe that she's going to survive. She was in coma for seven days. But then I provided my love 
my hope that she will live. And now she's a really fat cat and she's named Gracia. And that's my first rescue cat. And then the next one, I just found him going to going through the garbage can. I just said hello to him. I said hi. I like really say I love saying hi to cats, dogs, people, and that I meet outside. I I'm just that kind of person. So after I greeted, oh my god, I'm sorry. So after I greeted my dog, I, my that cat. So after I greeted that cat. Sorry, I'll just fix my camera. So after I greeted that cat, the cat followed me home. It was surprising because cats are known to be unaffectionate. But then I think he knew that I was going to take care of it. And that cat is named Gray. And that's the second cat. And then the, the third cat, I found it. I found him in front of the door of my condo. And my condo is on the ninth floor. You would be surprised at how he found me. I did not find him, but he found me. And now he's with me, he's staying with me, and we named him Santol. <laughs> He's 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 wa as white as the as the fruit as the santol fruit inside. Um, how can I explain why we called him santol? He, my sister called him santol because he smelled like santol. That's all. And this these three cats really gave me life. They give me they gave me hope. Aside from giving me the power to love, they also gave me the what they call the understanding that loving. Someone or something doesn't have to be forced. It's all about consent. It has to be giving both ways. Because this cat did not love me because I gave them food. They love me because I provide them, them respect as well. And that, I think, is what is beautiful about these creatures. That's all. Oh, they sound really lovely, Miss Angelina. It's very interesting how they really um, had an impact, have an impact in your life. And I yes. wish everyone is as caring and as loving as you are towards pet. However, have you heard of the animal abuse being a controversial uh, controversy throughout the world? And as a pet owner, uh, what can you say about this? I think that animal cruelty is still innate within us because we don't understand that these animals have feelings as well. Most of us doesn't have the kind of knowledge that these creatures also have the kind of compassion that we human beings are capable of giving as well. They're also intelligent beings. We just have a different form of language. Their form of communication is different from us. But if we try to communicate, because I believe that us human beings are really powerful or we are at the top. We are capable of understanding things. And we should provide that opportunity to open up ourselves, to understand everything in this world. Because when we provide that kind of understanding, then we are promoting respect as well to every living creature in our world. And with that, we are creating a better society and a better world. Yes, very well said, Miss Angelina. And it is true that even animals deserve love. And it is, it is a must to speak for those who can speak. And lastly, Miss Angelina, I'm sure everyone is very excited for this. Miss Angelina, do you have any hidden talents that you can share with us? Oh my God, I'm not really prepared, but I really, I really love singing. It's one of my, you know, first love in terms of your passion in life because all of us have their own passions. But one of my biggest passions is singing. I really love singing, especially opera songs. Well, Miss Angeline, after asking for a hidden talent, you know what's next, Miss Angeline. Can you <laughs> sample. Give us a glimpse of it? Uh, sample. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let me just collect myself. Um, okay. I'll try to sing on my own, but I don't. I don't want to let get your hopes up. I'm not the best kind of singer, but here it is. On my own, pretending he's beside me. All alone. That's it. <laughs> okay, there you have it, guys. The very talented Miss Angeline. How about let's give her a virtual round of applause? And thank you. <laughs> yes. And of course, it doesn't end here. Let us now hear from our audiences if they have anything to ask. If they have anything to ask you, Miss Angeline. Um, do we have any questions from the audience? Hi, to my ask me anything. I'm ready to answer anything. 
Well, I can see that there are no questions, but I have a personal question to you, Miss Angeline. Um, okay, as a as a as a student, um, what can you what can you tell them as an advice in the near future in contributing to the society? What can we do as youth in the society? Um, first things first. As someone who have been a student as well before, what I wanted to first give an advice to all of the children, all of the kids that are still studying, all of you that are still studying, is that you first have to enjoy what you are doing. Because if you start enjoying learning, if you start using that kind of knowledge as part of your passion, then that's the time that you can use it as a platform to help the society. If you love what you're doing, if you love what you're studying, then it comes all the way and it comes from the heart to really help our community with all of the knowledge that you have incurred from your education. Yes, thank you very much for that advice, Ms. Angelina. And it is very important to be really passionate in everything that you do. And I will really um, embrace that to my heart as I journey through the years. Um, here we have a question from a viewer. Um, who is a formidable opponent for you in the upcoming um, competition in the Miss, Inter Miss Friendship International? Are you looking forward to a particular um, opponent or something? As of, the, as of the moment, I really don't have anyone in mind, but I think everyone can become a formidable op opponent for me because each and every one of us have their own capabilities, have their own unique talents, have their own charm. So I think that what I should look out for is the improvement of myself as I represent the Philippines. Yes, that's very amazing that you are focusing on improving yourself, not on focusing on the others. Now, um, here's another question, Miss Angeline. Who is a role model pageant person for you? Like, um, someone from the Philippines, a candidate from the Philippines, or anyone else? I think. It is still Miss Pia works back because she has shown resiliency. She's a hardworking woman. She's not just there for the pageant. She's there to become a voice for the people. And that I think she's she really has inspired lots of beauty queen as she became the, the Miss Universe 2015. And she's my inspiration. Yes, I can see that you are as well a um, um, strong and independent woman. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think that's about it and there are no other questions and I think they are satisfied with our question and answer answer portion a while ago. So thank you so much, Miss Angeline, for being thank you here. so much. And personally I, I admire you and this is an opportunity to get to know uh, to get to know you better. And she is really an exemplary and a person to look up to. And uh, lastly, Miss Angeline, uh, how about you invite our audience or is there anything that you want to promote? Um, as of the moment, I just want you to really follow me on my social media account. Please follow me on my Instagram, my Facebook page, and my TikTok account, my Facebook, IG, and Instagram. I mean, my Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok is just engineer, E N G R, that Angel Santos. You can follow me on these social media accounts, or you can catch my live video later tonight at Vigo app. With my Bigo ID 7201596270. So I hope that all of you guys will still watch out for my next journey in the pageant industry. And I hope that you will support me as I represent the Philippines. Thank you so much for having me on Cleaning Media. And thank you to you as well. You, you are a beautiful lady. You're very well spoken. Thank you for having me today. Thank you so much again, Miss Angeline, and we will sure he be supporting you. And we are very much rooting for you, Miss Angeline. And once again, let us give Miss Angeline a virtual round of applause, Sati. It's only a virtual Yay. round. Of and now I will be giving the floor to our very um, passionate Mr. Gaza for his closing remarks. Thank you. Tamaram salamat, Miss Angeline, engineer. Good luck na susunod mong sa susunod mong laban. Thank you so much din, Sir Mike Garza, for having me oh, tonight. Susunod, oh. mm, maraming maraming. I hope sa susunod na interview, al alam na namin ang ano, di ba? After ano, ano ba? September? 
Yes, September, September 4th. Yes. October. Okay, September, October. October. Yeah, yeah. Okay, magkita tayo hindi pa to ang last. Thank you very much, Kuya. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat din po, Sir Mike, Sabella, and to your team for having me today. And I hope you all stay safe. And don't forget to wear your mask, your face shields, and practice social distancing so that we can all be safe and get through this pandemic together. Thank you so much for having me tonight. Thank you so much, Ma'am. Ms. Angeline, I hope you bring home the crown. Uh, thank we, you. We will always be proud of you. And um, that's about it. And thank you so much for watching, everyone. Uh, good night, good evening, and good morning, wherever you are. Yes, Stay thank safe. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.